I can understand why people, I'm not going to say a hopeless because maybe they did have a little bit of hope. Because if you can give somebody $250,000, mm -hmm. then you do got something going for you mm -hmm. in some aspect. You mm -hmm. may not be, you know, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and all these celebrities, but if you have $200,000 to dispense as far as, hey, I am going to invest in, you know, Fat Boy NJ, what's his nigga name? Cool. Fat N NJ something? Uh, flipping yeah. NJ. I thought it was Fat Boy NJ. No, flipping Cesar NJ. Pena. Say, if you had enough to give him 250000 then that means you had a little bit of motion on the side or you saved up, you worked really hard to get to where you had to go. And th those are the, the rest of the people that were involved in this um in this elaborate scheme. That's why I don't feel bad. The, the, no, no, I do feel bad. No, for him. No. Oh, okay. For Caesar. Got you, got you. Got you. I, I you don't feel a little feel bad, bad for... Envy? I don't feel no, bad hell for Caesar. No, I don't feel bad. No bad for Envy. Because you got to take some accountability. I have a oh, you're saying you feel bad have, for the victims. Yeah, okay, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. I have empathy. I have a little bit of empathy for Envy. What's that? <clears throat> because I think he is, he appears to be overly ambitious mm. in opportunity. And we're in a space to where, you know, all of us have our vehicle, right? Yeah. Your vehicle is your job. Mm -hmm. My vehicle is my job. Mm -hmm. Reggie, your vehicle is your job. But then all of us do something outside of our vehicle, outside of our job, mm -hmm. to try to create opportunities mm -hmm. and to, to try to monetize. Your portfolio, yeah. You know, so I think that real estate was his attempt at saying, yo, outside of this radio station, outside of music, outside of DJing, I want to find something that can create opportunities and wealth within my family and for my community. I do believe that was the true intention behind it. Yeah, it was. I think he just sourced the wrong person in Fat Boy Pena. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I think he went wrong. I, I hear what I you're saying. You, that, yeah. So yeah, that's where saying. the empathy comes yeah. in from because yeah. I don't think his intentions and everything that he's shown me and he's spoken about and, you know, like I have a real affinity for people who, you know, show love and respect for their family. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what you say about DJ Envy, however you feel about him, the one thing I think everybody can say across mm -hmm. the board is sure. he's about his family. Yeah. And so I don't believe that he would do anything to put his family or him in jeopardy of losing his family by doing something like this. So I think that the person that he sourced, that he trusted, put him in a compromising position. And he didn't do the due diligence. He didn't have the wherewithal to be like, let me do a little bit of homework on this. It just seemed like the opportunity was so good to be true. I jumped on it and now I'm fucked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, but I got to give you some pushback on that a little bit. Because I, I do feel what you're saying, right? Like originally it probably, you know, uh, was curated from a very genuine place. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, yo, I do want to pivot away from not just doing radio, but expanding my portfolio. Mm -hmm. The thing is, and then in, in, in your new ventures and in its infancy stages, that is when your antenna should be up the most. Mm -hmm. And I could probably guarantee that in its infancy stages, Envy probably saw things that were a little bit like- Like red flags. Yeah. He, I'm, I'm sure he saw some red flags. Mm -hmm. And then for people to start, for him to start bringing more and more people and more and more people are complaining. Um, people, that's another thing. People are coming out of the woodworks and they have receipts. Yeah. I got a question for you when you're done. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm listening to Pierre. Hit me. So my question is, so uh, Envy said that Caesar made good on some of his um, investments. That he came, he came back with a 30%. And there are, there are also some people's stories that are also the same. Mm -hmm. My question is, let's say you endorse one of your friends. At what point are you responsible for their doings? Mm. It, it depends on how much of um, how much you're adding to that as well. How right? involved I am. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Reggie. It's different, Pierre. If I put one of my homies on and it's just him rocking now, and I'm not connected to that business anymore. And, but because of my cosign, people looking at me like, yo, bro, like you put that person on. But then I could tell somebody that's complaining like, yo, that was just a shout out. I don't mm -hmm. know internally. I don't work with him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. He was with Flippin' NJ every single yeah. day. I used to see him on, it wasn't just the breakfast club. I would see these niggas on Instagram every other day. Yeah. When you're with someone for that long, you start to realize its practices and what's really going on. And I know that's a fact. Now, to what Envy was saying, I'm sure he probably was a victim in some other things, some other investments. He speaks, he speaks, well, this is this is uh, Envy's retort, I'm realizing now. Anytime people call him a liar on this, on this matter, he goes, no, I've been scammed too. I invested into a school in Patterson that never blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure, Envy, 
I'm sure maybe you didn't get your money back on that. But mm-hmm. Savon was just telling me on some plays where you did see some money. And that lack of accountability, that lack of awareness, that lack of care is very disappointing because it makes people you make people feel as if we're stupid. And as I, if we don't as if we can't piece things on our own. I really Come on, man. And and you, Come on, OG. <laughs> Come on, OG. He's just like straight up denying it in people's Sh- faces. Straight up denying it. And then it. we're just like Envy, like, but, you did this to us. But, like, <laughs> and and it's, it's like gaslighting in a way. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's a fact. I would not have known that fat ass nigga if it wasn't for <laughs> Yeah, he's still I would have known that nigga. Because <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of people that try to do what he do, yeah. but he's the one that got the Envy cosign. Absolutely, and that's big. That's so... Now, 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 now back to the Breakfast Club. How is someone supposed to properly endorse other things now on that platform? Yeah, it's tough. How do you do it? We gotta you, make sure they're extra, like you, because you gotta every you gotta salute my nigga Charlemagne. That's shout, why. Out to, shout out to Charlemagne. Shout out to Charlemagne. That's the authentic. No, no, no. I'm gonna shout out Charlemagne. Balance. I'm, 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 you wanna know why I wanna shout out Charlemagne? Balance. His mental health expo that he just put on, mm-hmm. and I think this is like his I second. I wanted to go. I missed it. Yeah, you were supposed to go. You were supposed to get some mental to. shit in there. Yeah, yeah. you were <laughs> supposed to get some mental expo. Some mental shit, whatever. Yeah, you were supposed to go get some mental expo. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You supposed to go, uh, uh, so, you know, you too, represent though. us. Nah, you too, though. I ain't know when it was. You ain't know? Nah, I ain't know when it was. Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to salute him for that event. It was completely free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, that oh. is something I respect. Oh. That shows me somebody intention, intention, intention yeah. right, Reggie? It shows me somebody that says, "Hey, like I really I, do want to help." Yeah, I have the resources and funds to do it. I want to bring people out, and I'm gonna cover it because I can get a bronze, a brand sponsorship to handle certain costs. You know what? I could use certain money to do what I want to do to make sure the community eats. I, I respect stuff like that. What, what happens? That's a good point. I gotta blame Charlemagne. I ain't gonna oh, lie. You gotta blame him? I was not, just bigger than the guy. No, 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 no. No, listen, yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. <laughs> so what happens is, <laughs> oh, this, oh, is what, this is what this is what happens. You shit on the nigga now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not shit on the nigga. Never. That's my guy. Shout yeah, out. Yeah. But from a real, from a grand scheme of things, mm-hmm. Charlemagne. Ooh, this ain't gonna sound good. It's not? Damn. But I'm gonna say it. Charlemagne has sh- carried the Breakfast Club for years. I don't, right? I don't think that's a. I don't, but I, don't I know a lot of people don't wanna say it. I feel like a lot of people think that. I think people think people, that. No, people think it, but people don't say it. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say it. Got it. I know, I, I, whatever. Charlemagne <laughs> has carried the Breakfast Club for a lot of years. The irony how Envy's been carrying it as a recent. Right? Yeah. He has not been carried. What I really, truly, thoroughly believe. Charlemagne was the first person that I could see, right? When it was Angela, when it was Envy, when it was Charlemagne, Charlemagne, excuse me. Charlemagne found his lane, found his niche outside of the radio before anybody else. Going back to the Mental Health Expo, that has been his thing for a very long time. Charlemagne has written books that he has been on this wave of I am not only going to exist within music and within radio for at least the last six, seven years. When the lead person does that, it forces everybody else around him to start thinking like, oh shit, I got to find my thing. Mm, I see what you're saying. I got to do my thing next too. Oh wait, saying. this nigga doing a book? Yeah. Oh wait, he's a number one yeah. New York Times seller? That's when Envy started I gotta, he, The nigga started probably <laughs> scrambling. Oh shit, y'all niggas, y'all know the, the 48 riches? <laughs> like he started doing the candy paint with the low riders and fun fun. Like... Yeah. Niggas start scrambling call, call show when because Beyonce drops a solo album. <laughs> That's my theory. I don't know how true it is, but <laughs> when Beyonce starts dropping, everybody else got to figure out what it is that they can or want to do outside of what it is that they do. Yeah. And I think sh- that Envy decided that the car shows and real estate, that's going to be my thing. I'm just going to jump into it based on the currency Based on and being, being able super to ambitious and being it. ambitious because oh my man over here Beyonce is doing her thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Beyonce got a solo book coming on the way. Mm, Beyonce, let me kind of get things moving on my end. Let me make sure I get some motion on my end. Yeah, and it rushed the process of and again I have no information. This is a theory. This okay. is just a theory. So we do we speculate. But it, it feels like because Angela <laughs> Yee she started doing her thing too. Yeah, I ain't going. She got a whole business Yee. with Styles P. Yee Yee, Yee, Yee true Capricorn nah, shit. Nah, Yee might have known. She knew something was up because Yee Yee do real estate. 
<laughs> Yo, Shorty went and got her own syndicated show. Period. Shout out to Fam. Styles P too. They got the juices for life. Juice Yo, you have the juices for I life. Right? Juices for life. Yes, yes, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Yes, I saw yes, somebody indeed. mention that. Like, man. I will Why say, didn't any and we, either one of them and Charlemagne and and and, and uh, Ye want to get yeah, involved yeah. with Aww. some of that with some of the investments? It just look a little bit right different. There. It look a little bit different. Again, mm. you got to be careful when you sit next to a nigga that looks like a zero. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can't what? be a number ten when you stand with a yeah. nigga. Wait, Envy was the one. He was the zero. <laughs> The one and the O, the yeah. skinny and the fat. You gotta be careful when you stand there. Because when them niggas was coming up the escalator. You saying the both nah, of them combined bro, is 10? Nigga, they was doing videos coming up the you escalator. Did not just say and I'm DJ like, oh, oh, oh shit. I don't know where his brain be going sometimes. Like, yeah, it's my nigga, body. That fat ass that nigga. Because you can't wait, be standing. Wait, wait. Don't you, stand me if you that up, fat, up. nigga. Are you saying I'm that sorry. DJ Envy and Caesar Pena flipping NJ next to each other make one and zero ten? Because Envy lost mad weight. Is the that, nigga look good now. He be doing the bikes and shit, taking care of his family. Uh, like I, I seen him running routes with his, like with his. He's. I promise you, this is not a shot at Envy. This is all towards the number zero. Envy, I don't respect it, bro. I, w- I would like to see. I don't respect it. Go scam some people that don't look like you. Yeah. Not Go do nothing. that, and then maybe I might have a little bit of <laughs> yeah, empathy. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe I I will never respect a scammer. I will never respect anybody who 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 deceives people out of their hard earned money. Hey, now that, I don't know the people that he was scamming, but I know from what I do know, mm-hmm. they look like me. They mm-hmm. sound like me. They sound like my neighbors. They look like my neighbors. They look like the community of the people that I know. The only reason you was even able to reach those people is because they look like us. Mm-hmm. He probably mad because Tyrese ain't want to invest. That's probably the real reason why no, he was Tyrese mad at Tyrese. wanted to invest in some other shit. And, and box him in the mouth. <laughs> he was trying to invest. He, he wanted to box him in the mouth. I, don't know. I, I would like to see some accountability and some maturity mm-hmm. from DJ Envy. You know, I really do like seeing... It's not what, a shot of Envy for me. Nah, it's not a shot of Envy at all. We're just talking about what's going on. If y'all niggas don't do this shit, we don't talk about it. Me and my niggas, not in, no, me and my niggas not in no real estate Rico. We just talking freely. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, gangsta, we not. All right, all right. We're going to do right what he <laughs> said. I'm, that's what he said. I would love to see some accountability and maturity for somebody I respect in this space. That's I not going to happen. That. I know it's not going to happen, Pierre, because he's got a lawyer yep. now, mm-hmm. and he's got a legal team, yep. and they're advising for him to what to, for what to do and this mm-hmm. and that. But going forward, that credibility takes a hit. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's tough. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, to that Charlemagne point, though, that Savon made of him just being too lit and then it caused MV to, like, mm-hmm. inadvertently do this. I'm just thinking right now, like, I'm so glad the three of us have, like, our own passions because that yeah. will never happen to us. I don't count. Alex is <laughs> nah, music man. Cool. He's a music encyclopedia. Hey, hey. Savon is Mr. Sportsman winning, like, eight bands on FanDuel every Mr. week. Potter. And me, I'm just a girl, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> I love that and so we'll, we'll, always, uh, we'll always have our own lane. If Alex, yeah. like, takes off or yeah. something that won't make me spiral and do some shit like right. this so. <laughs> right. damn register I don't count yeah. nah Pierre Pierre we know what you do nigga <laughs> NFL you train niggas you shoot multiple cameras who you was with last week say it on, on mic who you was with Joe I can't say that yet see oh, look he can't look, even talk about wow. his accomplishments so why say. you bring it up yeah, I can't even bring up your accomplishments nigga fuck out of here mute up my boy mute, <laughs> <laughs> mute up my boy you know what I'm saying <laughs> but I am interested to see how this advances itself I don't yeah. think this is a conversation that's gonna end anytime soon me some people are speculating will he lose his job is it gonna go is it gonna go that bad i I don't know we don't know and i don't hope that i don't hope don't hope that on nobody but y'all know where my smoke is at my smoke is aimed at one person and and until uh, envy can be proven to you know be complicit and be a part of that Mm -hmm. then my smoke won't be focused there but i have to have smoke for Anybody who deceived and robbed and stole. I agree. Like, yeah. it, there's a I lot. Agree. There's a few things. There's like, you know, there's a few people mm-hmm. in the world that I just can never respect. Mm. And like people who prey on the innocent. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't respect that. And not for nothing. I can't respect it. And then when your brother got chains and your brother trying to flip things and you telling people, oh, let me give you a chain instead of giving you the money I owe you. Oh, like, you're a piece of shit, bro. Yeah. Wait, we didn't mention when somebody called him looking for their investment money yeah. and they pulled up with some bust down chains said, hold that. It's a car, yeah. car dealer. He suggested a this is dealer, the compass. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, compensation. Wild. Like, it's just a lot. And 
Again, it's all alleged. I oh, want to protect man. us here yeah, on this podcast. All alleged. All alleged. Let's all alleged. make sure we we see how everything develops. Absolutely. Um, Prayers. But yeah, you know, shout out to the number ten. Prayers. Shout out to shout out to Yo. Messi, my nigga Messi. He's doing Yo. great things. What? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Messi, number ten.